Jamie started skiing actually when she was a year old. It was like a shiver through her body the first time we attached skis on her feet. By the time she was three, she could get down a black diamond. When she was a kid, one of the activities that she liked to do was, um, there was a swing set and it was 20 feet high and she would walk across the top of it and then do these things of swinging around it. I knew that if I didn't let her shinny herself up there and do this, she would find other things to do that with. So that was the way that she grew up. I was a gymnast when I was growing up, so I did a lot of flipping, and I was a skier. I skied since I was a year old, so I loved skiing and was a ski racer. I worked landscaping and I made enough money to try freestyle for the first time and go tramping and then go to a water ramps. On my first day, I learned how to do a front flip. And on my third day, I learned how to do a back flip. And on my fifth day, I was recruited to join the US aerial team and live for the fall at the Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid, New York. And then that first winter, I decided to do slope style. I went to Junior World Championships in New Zealand. I went to X Games when I was 17, and my career took off from there. I dropped in for my second run and I took off the jump and my sister was actually at the top and she told me that from her point of view she saw me take off and she saw me do two flips and come down and it looked like I might have under rotated a little bit and I just caught an edge and I whiplashed my head onto the snow. And the next thing she heard was on the radio we need a helicopter, we need all hands on deck, this is an emergency. I got a call from her sister her sister said Jamie's hurt, it's really bad. And the medical people have to talk to you. And the way that her sister said it to me, it wasn't a knee, it wasn't a shoulder, it was, it was a life. Like I could just tell that it was her life. And the first thing I said to the doctor was, is my daughter alive? And his response was yes, for the moment. When I hit my head, my brain started bleeding in eight spots, and I hurt my right brain stem, which is what paralyzed my right side, and went into a coma. As a mom, when you get into a position where your child was this amazing, vibrant, wonderful person, and then the next time you see them, they're hooked up, gray, the only thing that went through my mind was, I am going to care for her as long as I have her in any condition that I'm given. The kind of person that Jamie has always been is she's been totally tenacious, totally involved. She challenged is herself. And so I took that and I said, you know, that's probably still in there. That's probably still a part of her. Jamie came back to skiing with the National Ability Center. They didn't look at Jamie as though there was anything to fix or repair or, or damage. It was about being fully present in where she's at this moment. The first time they went out, it was just Turtle Trail. And Turtle Trail is because it's super slow, super easy. And she spent a day on Turtle Trail and was thrilled. She never felt that, gee, I'm only on turtle trail, but I, I'm a world-class skier. She felt like, oh, I am on my skis, and these people are helping me, and I'm loving it. The NAC does an incredible job of meeting all of these participants where they are, and for her, she really had to go back to the beginning. This turtle run, which would have been something that she would have never even bothered with, was like Mount Everest to her. But through partnership with the NAC, working with her and her family, it was, you know, the beginning of the rest of her life. When I got back on the mountain, it was so amazing. I was just past the level where I could snowplow, but like, it felt so good, and I felt like I just was back where I belonged, and every turn I made was like an improvement, and I could just feel myself beginning to come back. 
It really helped me work on setting goals every single day because that's a big thing the National Ability Center does. And then I would just every run like accomplish some of the goals I had set and they'd be like, okay, we're setting new goals. They're always positive and have a smile on their face and they make you feel really good about yourself. The confidence that she gained through that experience is every bit as meaningful as the physical. It was emotionally so healing for me that I had, I would call them coaches. I had coaches who I could go train with every day. And that was awesome for me to be able to feel like I had a venue where I belonged and where I could go relearn how to ski. What you hope when you support an organization that you're passionate about and you believe in is that you're making a difference. The impact that we're all having by volunteering by spending time with participants, by donating to the National Ability Center. All of those efforts are truly changing the world. My life has changed and yeah, I'm no longer a professional skier, but there's so many doors that have opened. Like now I'm a talk show host on the Brain Injury Network. I'm back at Westminster College. Um, I'm doing my degree in communication and business and I have so many doors that I wanna go through. The National Ability Center changed my life.